In today's episode of the Android Guy, I'm gonna show you how to get Android version 8.1 audio on your Android device. Taking trips, cause I never tripped on what they said. If you speaking from your heart, they say you're going for your head. But before we get started, let me show you that my device is currently running on a low version of Android. That is, if I head over to the About Phone section in Android settings, and yup. As you can see, my device is still on Android version 6, Marshmallow. I mean folks, Marshmallow is cool, it certainly looks good, it's very stable, basically it gets the job done. But I'm still missing out on audio features like better look and performance, advanced notifications, and who can miss out on the picture in picture mode which takes multitasking to the next level. But folks, first of all, if there is an official OTA update available for your device, then your device will automatically download and update over to Oreo. You can do that by tapping on the check for update option in Android settings and that should pretty much make your day. Either ways, make sure to first update to the latest version of Android currently available for your device. However, if you want to get Oreo before anyone else does, you will have to manually install Oreo on your device. Now don't worry, it's a simple two-step process, only takes about 10 minutes and should work on any device, both old and new. Even this phone right here, the Moto G4 Plus is almost 2 years old. As long as there is an Oreo image available for your device, you can easily update over to Oreo. However, the only requirement for this to work is you will need to flash a custom recovery on your device. Now folks, custom recoveries allow you to safely backup your current version of Android and lets you easily update over to Oreo. You can also root your device with just one tap, install mods and do a bunch of other stuff as well. To know more about custom recoveries and how to get it on your device, Check the links under the thumbs up button. So once you have the custom recovery up and running on your device, we move over to step 1. Find an Oreo ROM for your device. Now folks, ROMs are basically versions of Android, in this case Oreo, modified and ported to run on your device, even though it's not officially released for your device yet. Custom ROMs are very easy to install, they are highly customizable and usually comes pre-rooted with no bloatwares. So in order to find an Oreo ROM for your device, head over to the Android settings, open up the about phone section and write down the exact name and model number of your device as we will need them later. Also make sure to back up all important things that you might need later. With the model number in hand, head over to the Google search and type in your device name and the model number with XDA or custom ROM at the end. We recommend searching on XDA forums as 90% of all ROMs release on XDA. Plus there is a dedicated ROM section for most Android devices. So here is the list of ROMs for my device and straight up there are a couple of different Oreo ROMs here. Now folks, more or less, all of these are the exact same thing. Some are more customizable than others, others have additional features. So go through the list, check the details, see the screenshots and pick a ROM that suits your taste. I'm gonna go with the uh, Resurrection ROM right here, which is a really neat looking and a highly customizable version of Oreo. All instructions with details can be found here, so make sure to go through that first. Once that is done, go ahead and download the ROM from here. Now folks, one very important thing to remember is some ROMs don't come with Google Apps like Play Store, Maps, etc. So you might have to download Google Apps, also known as G Apps, from here as well. Alright, once the ROM and the Google Apps is downloaded and safely placed onto your device storage, we move over to Step 2. Installing the ROM. In order to install a ROM, first of all, completely turn off your device. Once your device is completely turned off, boot into the custom recovery by pressing a set of hardware buttons. For most Android devices, it's either the power button pressed together with the volume up, volume down or the home button. So check the links in the description to boot into yours. And again, you will need to have a custom recovery. 
Once the device is in the custom recovery, it's just three things that you'll have to remember and you will be able to safely install as many ROMs or mods as you want. It's backup, wipe and install. So first of all, head over to the backup section and what that does is it creates a complete backup of the current version of Android that your device is on. So later on, if something went wrong or if you want to get back to the older version of Android, you can do that by simply booting into the recovery, then tap on the restore option and your device will be back to the way it was. So don't forget to create a backup and for additional safety, take a backup of that backup. All right, so once the backup is done, next up is wipe. So head over to the wipe section and wipe everything except the storage. And what that does is it wipes the old version of Android to make space for audio. All right, so once the backup and wipe is done, we head over to install. So tap on the install button, then navigate over to the audio ROM that you just downloaded. It should be in the download folder. Once you have located the ROM, select it. And also don't forget to select the Google Apps as well. Then swipe right and Oreo will start installing on your device. Now folks, depending on your device, it can take between five to 10 minutes. So keep your device in a cool and dry place. All right, so the installation is done. Once Oreo is installed, head back and tap on the reboot button and your device will restart. Now folks, the first boot after installing a ROM might take some time, so be patient. All right, folks, so once your device has booted up, let's not waste any time and quickly head over to the Android settings. And as you can see, my device is updated to Android version 8.1 Oreo. So in around just 10 minutes, we went from Android version 6 Marshmallow to Android version 8 Oreo. So yup, that's pretty much it. If you folks like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more exciting videos like this one, do subscribe to The Android Guy. So I'm your host HK with The Android Guy signing out and you folks have a nice day. Peace. Taking trips cause I never tripped on what they said. If you speaking from your heart and they say you're going.